Namaskar my dear students today we will be discussing about the subject prosthodontics this is very special to me being a prosthodontist for more than a decade i have been teaching the budding doctors and the budding prosthodontist i will introduce you to the subject if you have joined a dental school for graduation or post graduation in prosthodontics we will also discuss its scope as many students are in dilemma for selecting the post graduate discipline and now as it is a vast subject it starts in the first year of the dental course so some tips to prepare the subject we will be discussing dentistry starts with pedodontics with the first tooth in the jaw and grows with orthodontics dentistry matures with periodontics spreads rather prevented with community combines with the restorative links with the oral pathology finds with the oral medicine and finally ends with oral surgery dentistry reincarnates with prosthodontics Prosthodontics is the biggest subject in dental curriculum. It starts with first year, evaluated in second year for preclinical prosthodontics. The clinic start in third year and evaluated finally in the final year. Prosthodontics is the branch of dentistry pertaining to the restoration and maintenance of four things: oral function, comfort, appearance, and health of the patient how by the restoration of natural teeth and or the replacement of the missing teeth and not only the teeth but also the oral and the maxillofacial tissues with the artificial substitutes so this is the definition of prosthodontics and often the first question in your grand viva Prosthodontics can be divided into three branches. First is the removable prosthodontics, second is the fixed prosthodontics and third is the maxillofacial prosthodontics. Removable and the fixed by its name that if the prosthesis can be removed by the patient it will be removable. If it cannot be removed by the patient then it will be fixed prosthodontics and the maxillofacial prosthodontics mainly include the prosthesis which rehabilitates or restores the oral and the maxillofacial structures in the removable prosthodontics depending on the amount of the teeth missing we have complete dentures we have removable partial dentures in the fixed prosthodontics depending on the support the prosthesis can be tooth supported or implant supported and in the maxillofacial the intraoral prosthesis like obturators and the extraoral prosthesis like the orbital prosthesis or the nasal prosthesis now before going into the details of the prosthesis let us discuss the three states first is the dentulous or the dentate where all the teeth are present second partially edentulous where a few teeth are absent it can be interior it can be posterior it can be one it can be many edentulous spaces third is the completely edentulous when all the teeth are absent upper and lower completely edentulous now if our patient is completely edentulous then what are the treatment options for us first is the complete denture it is a removable dental prosthesis that replaces the entire dentition and the associated structures of the maxilla and the mandible thousands of years ago dentures were made with ivory and bone as we can see in the picture and these are the george washington dental prosthesis which had the gold bases and a big thank you to dr walter wright who introduced the useful acrylic resin and this is the most satisfied denture material present till now then second option with us is the implant supported over denture what is an over denture it is also a removable dental prosthesis which is supported by the dental implants in this two or four implants are placed in the jaw and over that the denture is made 
The third option with us is the implant supported fixed prosthesis. This is the fixed dental prosthesis supported by the implant. In this, multiple implants will be placed 5 to 7 in the maxilla, 4 to 6 in the mandible. Then a prosthesis is made which will be fixed by the clinician. Now, if our patient is partially edangerous, that means a few teeth are missing. The treatment planning will entirely depend upon the type of the teeth missing, anterior or posterior, number of the teeth missing and very important, the condition of the present teeth. So we will have three treatment options. First is a fixed partial danger. Fixed partial danger or a fixed dental prosthesis is any prosthesis that will be looted on the natural teeth or the tooth roots. Second is the implant supported bridge, implant supported fixed partial danger. Now this will, is also a fixed dental prosthesis that will be screwed or looted onto the implant abutments. Third is the removable partial danger. Removable partial denture is a prosthesis that replaces some teeth in partially dentate arch and it can be removed from the mouth by the patient. If we talk about the maxillofacial prosthesis, there are many prosthesis out of which the most commonly used are first is the obturator. It is a maxillofacial prosthesis used to close a congenital or acquired tissue opening of the heart palate or the soft tissue structures. For this, we have already discussed in a video. The link is shared in the uh, description box. Second is the speech aid prosthesis. Speech aid prosthesis is also a removable prosthesis which is used to restore an acquired or congenital defect of the soft palate as we can see in the picture with a portion extending into the pharynx. It separates the oropharynx with the nasopharynx and helps in the phonation or the speech. Third is the orbital prosthesis. Orbital prosthesis is the extraoral maxillofacial prosthesis that restores the eye, eyelids and the adjacent heart and the soft tissues as we can see in the picture. Apart from this, we have some ancillary prosthesis which are used during a course of treatment. For example, the splints. Then we have the radiation carriers. Radiation carriers help to uh, administer the radiation to the confined areas during the course of treatment. With the discussion of all these processes, now you can have an idea of the scope of prosthodontics, what a prosthodontist can really do, what all he can make. Now coming to the books part, how you will prepare this subject for your graduation and your post graduation. First we come to the complete danger. Zab Bullender is the basic or the standard book for studying or reading complete dangers. Then we have some reference books like Winkler. From this, you can read residual ridge resorptions, topics like articulators, teeth arrangement, especially class two, class three teeth arrangements. You can read from this part. Then we have John Sherry, a very good book for the basic uh, topics like the impression techniques the saliva, bone, these kind of topics are beautifully covered in this book. Then we have Fen, a very good book to cover the topic like try in. Then we have Hartwell, the various occlusion theories, teeth arrangement, articulators, then gothic tracers. These all topics are given very nicely in Hartwell. Then we have the removable partial danger. In this, the basic book is Macarican, the Bible. Then a steward is the edition for reading the removable partial danger. Third, we have the fixed partial danger. In this, Rosenstiel is a very good standard book covering all the topics very nicely. If you want to add, add Schillenberg to your uh, fixed partial danger library. It's a very good book and many topics like the principles of tooth preparation, 
the conservative bridges, then the laboratory part is nicely covered in this book. For a postgraduate, the list of the books and the articles is endless. More you read, more you learn. Now we have some special reference books for special topics. First is dental implants. To cover the prosthetic part of the implants, Implant Prosthetics by Mish is a very good book. Then for reading occlusion and temporomandibular joint, occasion is a full recommendation. And then if we have to read full mouth rehabilitation, all the theories, everything is given in Dawson. For maxillofacial prosthetics, I will recommend two books. First is Bumer Curtis and second is Taylor. If you are searching for some good Indian books, then Deepak Nalla Swami and book by TV Padma Nabhan, both are very good compilation and ready reckoner for the exam. For complete denture, I will recommend a book by Manapalli, a very good book for complete dentures. Besides, if you are preparing for some objective exam and you want to prepare the subject of prosthodontics, then we have MCQs in prosthodontics and dental materials by myself, Dr. Shweta. And second, we have Dental Pulse by Dr. Satish Reddy, a very good book for all time preparation. Now, how to prepare the subject? Rightly said, what you hear, you forget. What you see, you remember and what you do, you understand. So just listening to the lectures will not suffice. At that moment you will hear, you will understand, but then easily you will forget. So it's better if you see the related images, related videos of the procedures that you are reading. And then what you do, that means more of the preclinical and clinical work you do, more you will understand and the subject will become very easy and interesting for you. So my dear students, I'm sure this video will help you to prepare the subject very well. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more topics from prosthodontics.